To many, the Church of Scientology is known as much for its famous followers as it is for its famous or infamous controversies. And they don't take criticism lightly. So when former Scientologist Leah Remini made some not-so-flattering comments in a very public forum, it set the stage for a possible showdown between a powerful organization and one of its highest-profile defectors. ABC's Dan Harris has the story. I'm going through a personal big change for me and my family. In these behind-the-scenes moments from Dancing with the Stars, Leah Remini, wearing sweatpants and her hair back, fires a shot across the bow of the controversial Church of Scientology. The church is looking for me to fail so that they can say to their parishioners, you see what happens when you leave the church? Like they're waiting for me to fail. Remini, who starred in the hit CBS sitcom The King of Queens, I wanted to perform in the seventh grade performance of Swan Lake. Not only accused the church of wanting her to fail on Dancing with the Stars, but also spoke more broadly about her experience in Scientology. I was always so scared to be myself. We're used to everything that happens to us is our fault. You're used to taking a lot of negativity on yourself. This is just the latest development in a remarkable story of personal and public faith, which broke this past July. Actress Leah Remini speaks out overnight about her dramatic decision to leave the Church of Scientology. When Remini became perhaps the most high profile celebrity defector from the church. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist and it's something that you have to earn. It is a church known all over the world for its famous members, including Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and Kirstie Alley. Remini, whose mom was a devout believer, joined the Church of Scientology at age nine. She was even briefly enrolled in the elite religious order known as Sea Org. For years, as Remini rose through the ranks in Hollywood, she was a proud public supporter of Scientology. But according to people close to Remini, her relationship with the church began to sour in 2006 at the wedding of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, where Remini, we're told, asked the head of the church, David Miscavige, who was also Tom Cruise's best man, where his wife was. Shelley Miscavige has not been seen publicly in many years, making her current whereabouts a source of feverish speculation among the church's many critics. Janet Reitman is the author of Inside Scientology. She was his wife. She was his close advisor. She would have been um, an integral part in, in every aspect of his life. So her absence has been quite noticed by particularly people who would have been in the upper echelons of the church, the executives. Remini was, we're told, friends with Shelley Miscavige. Here they are together at a Scientology gala in 2005 in a picture posted by the journalist and Scientology critic Tony Ortega. People close to Remini say she was upbraided for asking David Miscavige about his wife, a rebuke that shocked her badly. The church has publicly denied the story about Remini confronting David Miscavige at Tom Cruise's wedding. As for the whereabouts of Shelley Miscavige, the church has told ABC News, quote, Mrs. Miscavige continues her work in the church as she always has. After the wedding, People close to Remini say her relationship with the church only got worse, with her private concerns and questions growing more and more intense until this summer when she and her family left Scientology. At first, Remini was tight-lipped about the departure, only saying this to Access Hollywood. I'm good. I have my family. My real friends are behind me. And um, I think that says a lot. But then in August, Remedy took her face off with the church to a whole new level, filing a missing persons report on Shelley Miscavige with the Los Angeles Police Department. Hours after Remedy filed that report, the LAPD told ABC News the case is closed and the report that Shelley was missing is unfounded. The church, which had handled Remedy's departure quite gingerly, then released a statement saying this ill-advised, ludicrous self-promotion and the media inquiries it generated caused an inexcusable distraction for the LAPD. The entire episode was nothing more than a publicity stunt for Ms. Remini. Janet Reitman argues the church must see Remini as a real challenge. Oh my God, of course they're worried about her. Leia Remini, I think, really, really believed in this, and so she feels quite betrayed. Many who have left the Church of Scientology say it can be wrenching. They include the Oscar-winning screenwriter Paul Haggis, who has publicly come out to call Remini brave. Then there's Debbie Cook. Hello, and welcome to FLAG. 
who ran Scientology's spiritual mecca, the so-called flag base, in Clearwater, Florida. In court testimony in a now-settled lawsuit with the church, and also in this interview with Nightline, Cook accused church leader David Miscavige of being physically abusive. She said that while he never hit her, he did order his secretary to do so. You're in a room with him, and he tells his secretary to slap you? Yes. Hard enough that you fell down? Yes. Why did he ask her to do this? Because, you know, he was displeased about how I was answering a question. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, what he wanted to hear in, in some way. The church says claims that Miscavige was physically abusive are lies and dismisses Cook as a, quote, defrocked apostate who is defaming the church. David Miscavige's own niece, Jenna Miscavige Hill, recently published a book called Beyond Belief, in which she says leaving the church meant she was cut off from friends and family. It sounds like leaving is incredibly difficult, though. Yes, it is. I have my people who have been my friends, sorry, people who have been my friends my whole life, and I can't even talk to them. The church has repeatedly denied that members are forced to cut themselves off from former members, saying such decisions are voluntary. Well, my friend, Leah Remini. But on Ellen recently, Leah Remini made a similar claim. It's hard, and we're, uh, we have lost friends we, that can no longer talk to us who are still in the organization. But Now, th that is a thing when you leave a church, they can't, they, you can't, they can't talk to you or you can't talk to them or something? Correct. Wow. And these are friends that we've had for, you know, dozens of years, but um, I have great friends, other friends that are not in the church that have uh, stood by us, and our family is stronger, we're together, and, and that's all I can ask for. You have me, I'm I your friend, you. we're your friends. Thank you. On Dancing with the Stars last night, it became clear that for Remini, the wounds are still fresh. Positive thoughts. Okay. Okay, because you just started working on this. Okay. okay. Okay? So you're already judging yourself. Leah's really hard on herself. I knew this summer she had a difficult experience, but to the degree that it was going to affect her, I had no idea. What will this experience do for you? I just think it's going to get me out, you know, out of my head, out of beating myself up, out of these bad habits. Well, she may think the church is rooting for her to fail. The judges loved Remini's samba performance. Eight giving her solid eights and earning her a standing ovation from the crowd and a shot to compete again next Monday night. As for the church, they issued another scathing statement saying, we know this may come as a surprise to someone as self-absorbed as Ms. Remini, but we could care less if she wins or loses on Dancing with the Stars. For Nightline, this is Dan Harris in New York.